guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new my name is norekton and today we are going to be talking about the life of a data science student in kenya so um currently i'm pursuing data science in moringa school and i'm just going to be showing you how how life is just studying remotely at home uh, data science for the longest time ever and it's just exciting so make sure you watch this video make sure you subscribe to this channel and Share, share, share. This can be very informative for people who want to join, for people who want to start classes, for people who want to start their career in data science. So you just have to know how it is studying online data science. So let's get to the video, guys. So I'm going to be giving you a little background for context so that you can just get what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and the amount of time that it just takes to do all this stuff and so. So the first thing, um, I joined Moringa School. Uh, Moringa School, they offer data science. So I joined at around March and I've been studying it since then. So March, April, May, yeah. June, and I'm supposed to finish at around August, okay? Okay. Okay, so uh, what happens is um, we're doing uh, remote learning. So that means you're learning from home, okay? And you're doing it online and it's a very, very demanding course. So you're spending a lot of time online. And it was kind of tricky or risky as I can say for me to try and switch from the one-to-one -one classes because I was in KU and I'm trying to switch from that to fully remote classes like online and hmm, it was really risky I you don't know you don't know what to expect you don't know how it's going to be for you you don't study at home because I had this mentality I can study at home I didn't used to study at home when I was in KU home was for sleeping and everything so it was just really challenging but but once you go online, no going back. No, no going back, guys. No going back because online is so flexible. You can be one minute, you can be doing an assignment. The next minute, you're done. You're in bed. You save a lot of time and money for traveling, and it was just it's just so flexible, you know. And so let's just get to the video. We are in the video, like you know like halfway in the video so let's continue let's continue in the video no no getting back okay so the life of a data science the week let's say the week or the life of a data science student is very kind of boring interesting and to us because we we kind of get used to the life and we just adapt you know we adapt the lifestyle and it's really nice okay so the first thing that we do is we wake up we wake up every day we're supposed to be awake every day by eight okay you can wake up earlier or later, whatever you want. But every day at eight, we have a meeting. It's called stand up. And stand up, you just basically um, you're just going through previous content and the next this uh, the, the present day content, and you just go through it. And it just takes around thirty minutes, and then you can now start jump start your content, jump start to doing your content. And what you do is uh, there's content for every day so from monday to friday every week there's content that has been set you're supposed to study on your own the content you have to practice it uh, on your computer like um you're supposed to be using programs like python and pandas and numpy you do your, your content for that week either resources for reading or just just doing it and studying it and just practicing it it's just very simple it's been laid in a very simple way for you to understand and put it in your head okay yeah so it's just so simple for you to just not simple but yeah simple it's not easy but it's simple because it's very easy it's very easily laid out for you to understand it and if by any chance your brain says Nora today today we are not understanding this by force I'm not my brain refuses to work you have your friends so your friends are your colleagues the people you're studying with um they <laughs> they help you through the covering of the content so they they come through for you so if you have a question if you have a blocker somewhere a block is just something umekwama, like you're trying to do something but imekata, imesema, no. you call your friends and they tell you how to do it. There's a group, you can form a group and then discuss whatever you want, or you can just call a specific peer and they'll tell you, you need to do this. You're doing the wrong thing here. You need to do the right thing here. You're doing this. You're just doing your, your own handicap and rumors. It's not supposed to be like that. And yeah, this basically they're correcting you and you're doing the right thing. Okay. You're doing everything. So 
the next thing is um the virtual uh, virtual virtual meetings there are these meetings like um feedback session we have these meetings like, like they call professionals to come and talk to you guys yeah it's maybe twice or thrice a week maybe one hour each so it doesn't take a lot of your time so most of the time you have for studying you study on your own and then this one hour they come and just tell you something something good something like um, that will help you grow as a person and as a professional they just uh, take that on one hour per day to just teach you that okay the next thing is uh project weeks and project weeks is just like the most interesting of everything okay interesting because project week you're given a project in a real world setting i think and you're supposed to you and your team are supposed to um are supposed to do the project in like three days you do the technical part one is on my money my, my reports and everything mm. And you're supposed to present it like how you're supposed to, like you pitch you pitch your project you're like um this project we are doing today on climate on corona just anything you're supposed to pitch it and then you just explain everything every single detail you did on a project and yeah so it takes about a week after every module you do you have a project week. and yeah um so basically basically as you can see like most of our days are kind of taken like we you, you can't really go anywhere for long because you'll have a lot of work you've not done you know so um let's just go to the next thing uh, the next thing is uh, bad jokes you know you know how people have bad jokes <laughs> the scientists have their own jokes and it's it's not funny but it's funny to us you know like um uh, <laughs> there's this joke which which people say like uh, where do where do data scientists go camping? And then you say like, um, it's a random forest, you know, because there's uh, something called a random forest that you learn. And the first time we had this joke, <laughs> we were not getting it. So there's this uh, technical mentors we have and they're telling us this joke and you are like, what, what are these people? And they're laughing, it's funny to them. And then a few weeks into the course, you find this random forest and they're like, oh, Nora, this is the one, this is the one joke they were telling us, this is the one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one joke they were telling us and you are not getting anything and it's now funny to us you know so yeah it's just it's just bad jokes because these people have a nice sense of humor to us but to everyone else it's like what, what, why are you talking about that it's not even funny you know uh, another thing is um the next thing is you make friends online and by friends i mean just real friends not real friends you haven't met they're called virtual friends you know I have so many of them like these people are just they got your back like you know how your friends got your back <laughs> you know how your friends got your back yeah these people got your back and you've never met them so because you spend like most of your time most of your months talking to them each and every day you talk to them every day you you call them every day you do you do everything together every day because you're all of you are indoors you're in your houses and you have to communicate with the outside world and they are their outside world and you talk to them like very regularly so yeah you get those virtual friends i didn't know if it was possible to have friends you haven't met before but it's really nice it's really nice especially if you haven't met them and you already know a lot about them you already know about their personality you know the family you know everything like it's just so interesting and that's about it for you guys today and <laughs> If you have any, it's it's been a while. This is what I've been up to. This is what I've been doing. So please spare me. Don't ask me why I've been gone for so long. It's just one month, okay? Um. Anyway, guys, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye.